The first technique, and my favorite, is the Cunningham technique. Dr. Cunningham is an Australian and emergency medicine physician who first described this method in 2003. The reason I love this method is because it doesn't require any sedation or force. It basically relies on the concept that the humeral head wants to go back into its happy place in the glenoid fossa, but can't because of muscle spasm. So the first step, and probably the most important step, is selecting the right patient for this technique. You can't do this on a patient who's super anxious and won't even let you get close to their shoulder. But if the patient is cooperative, let them know that you won't hurt them and that the procedure is pretty much painless. The next step is to gain the patient's trust by demonstrating the procedure on their non-dislocated arm. Empower your patient with the knowledge that if they relax and decrease their muscle spasm, the shoulder will go right back in much easier. Ask them to close their eyes and have them tell you about their most relaxing vacation or ask them to slowly take deep breaths in and out just to relax. Have the patient sit on a chair with their back nice and straight, no slouching. They need to have good posture for this. Next, gently and slowly bring their affected arm close to their body. That's called adduction. And now the elbow is going to be flexed. Next, have their hand sit on your shoulder. You'll need to sit facing them at their level. Now, lay your inside hand on their elbow for some gentle traction. Just the weight of your own arm is enough. Remember, never make any sudden or forceful movements because That will only cause pain and spasm and make your job impossible. You'll have to keep reminding the patient to sit up straight. With your other hand, the outside one, start massaging the trapezius and then the deltoid and then the biceps in that order. The massage is like a strong kneading of dough for about three seconds at each side. Usually within a minute or two, the patient will say they feel much better. You won't necessarily feel a clunk, but the patient will be able to bring their arm across their chest and touch their other shoulder. I love the look on the family and even the nurse's faces after I successfully performed the Cunningham technique. For the correct selected patient, you won't need any sedation or any pain medications. Okay, but what if your patient is not cooperative? In the next lessons, you'll learn some other ways of putting that shoulder back in place. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.